Mr. Butler, go fuck yourself and keep away from Ukraine. It's our motherland, it's our home, and you are not welcome here. And I want to ask uh, every single country, please support Ukraine, because we need to stop this terror together. Thank you. Well, uh, we want to make a big album presentation, uh, invite our old friends from the metal scene and uh, start working on new material. But in such hard time, the best we can do is to help our country, our forces, and right everything which has been destroyed by Russian occupants. Everyone is united now. Uh, everyone does the best. Uh, someone joined Ukrainian forces immediately after February 24th. Someone started volunteering, someone donated everything to the charity. Everyone, and our band, not an exception, started to be an artist and do the best we can to make our victory global. After more than 100 days of war, we used to silence and continue the danger of new attacks, but we stay strong. As for music, uh, probably Mental Torment taking a new breath now. During this refreshing, me and Yaroslav recorded some stoner rock tracks. Maybe we will release it soon, so keep in touch. I hope everything will be right and uh, we will show something new for you. It was very inspiring, but also very challenging, as a lot of things happened. In the 2019, uh, I decided to return to a music and mixing engineer after maybe a year of improving uh, my guitar skills and some random jams with Yaroslav. We offered other members to make a band reunion. Of course, everyone was glad uh, to hear this news and uh, everyone accepted this offer. And actually, process was started. Of course, it was challenging as, for example, Andrei moved to Poland and took part uh, in the band mostly remotely. Also, uh, we didn't have drummer, so we started looking for a new band member as Andrei moved to the bass playing. Uh, during the first half of 2020, new songs were composed and uh, some old drafts and old stuff were transformed into whole new songs. At the end of 2020, our first vocalist met left band due to personal reasons, but fortunately, our old school friend Roman from the same, same small town as me were offered to become a new mental tournament singer. And just within one month, all lyrics were written for each song, along with whole album art, because Roman also is a very talented tattoo artist. Uh, most of the recording and mixing sessions were performed within uh, my home studio by myself. Uh, during the recording, Andre visited Ukraine and tracked all bass lines, maybe within a couple of days. So, yeah, it was really interesting. Well, uh, some songs actually been composed in 2013 and played live, such as The New Days, Old Moons and Conclusion. But they were rearranged and, most importantly, all lyrics were changed by Roman along with uh, all vocal parts. Oh, and also uh, Roman, as I said, uh, draw all graphics for the album cover, booklet, and did an amazing job to join all of this into a whole complex concept. All drum parts were composed by Taram, our bassist Andri, <laughs> because he's the ex-drummer of the band in early years. Uh, and uh, we did it before Arthur joined the band as our new drummer. That's funny. Uh, also, this story is funny because we work together with Arthur and I just one day, I just put some uh, random message in our uh, 
kind of market chat and ask it, are there any dramas here? And Artur said, yes. <laughs> yeah. Also, all uh, guitar parts recorded on the one guitar created by a great Ukrainian company called Avax Custom Guitars. They are our friends, and I personally personally proud to use such a cool instrument uh, during uh, the recording. And some really cute fact, uh, during the album production, uh, Anatoly had a baby. So I recorded all uh, guitar parts while he spent uh, time with his, his family. In February of uh, 2009, when I was finishing school in a small uh, town in the Sumi region, which was recently occupied by Russian troopers, I visited Kyiv to buy my first guitar uh, from uh, Anatoly. Uh, we met each other before on some uh, local music forum. After the meeting, we stayed in touch, and when I moved to Kyiv uh, to start my study in the university, Anatoly offered me to join the band, which he tried to organize since 2007, but something gone wrong. <laughs> I accepted this offer. Come on, it's a rock and roll. Why not? Uh, then I offered my friend Yaroslav to join the band as keyboard player. After the first rehearsal at Anatoly's apartment was held, it was four of us, me, Anatoly, Yaroslav, and the first vocalist, Matt. Uh, we were rehearsing some existing funeral uh, doom tracks and tried to develop some synchronization, music feeling to understand how to play something, how to do it correct, and kind of this, as we all were beginners. Uh, same time, we tried to record some demos and uh, published it in to the social networks, but it was not an official release. And <laughs> seems like someone downloaded it and marked it as promo tracks release, but we have no idea about this. <laughs> uh, anyway, a bit later, a young drummer, Bogdan, and bass player Ga, along with uh, second keyboardist Mark from early and autumn years, joined the band. And uh, with this set of musicians, we started our bus as mental tournament. We played a lot of shows in Kyiv music clubs. Also, we took part in Doom Over Kyiv 4 festival in uh, 2011 with such giants as Saturnus and Autumnia. During that era, Mental Torment was mostly a funeral-oriented band, as this was the initial idea from early band years. After Doom Over Kyiv, uh, Bogdan left the band and Andy joined us. Uh, with such set of musicians, we recorded our debut album, On the Verge, which is actually our first and once debut official release. <laughs> 